Hello. Hello. Welcome back to our channel. This week is a collaboration video of our top favourite castles. So this video is part of a collaboration with some other fantastic YouTube channels. Please make sure you take the time to watch them. They'll appear somewhere here in the middle as we're talking. So take the time to flip over to their channel and watch their favorite castles or stately homes. So we've picked five castles starting from the very top of the UK. Um, number one, I'll take this one because I'm really, this is <laughs> one of my favorite places. We've stayed at all of these. They're all within walking distance of a campsite or within driving distance of a campsite yeah. um quite close by but this they're all all the ones the five we picked are all campsite very very close by so the first one right up in inverness was fort george uh, which is still a military base it's really cool it's been there a long time it's a really amazing place we'll put a link to all of these in the video at the top so you can click on if you're on a smartphone or a tablet you can click on and see the actual video when we visited them if you want to see what they're like so fort george really cool military installation so number two is Crathus Castle, which was in Bankery, or Bank Bankery. 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 We had a lot of feedback on how you say that name, so. Um, Bankery. Yeah, and we walked to it, and I was very excited. We walked from the uh, the campsite in Bankery um, along to it, and then it was closed. It was closed. Um, so <laughs> Ian had read the, dis the uh, instructions wrong, and it was shut when we got there, but I would really like to go back and see the inside. Um, it's lovely walks and lovely grounds. Uh, so yeah, it was a really great location. Yeah, the grounds were amazing. So it was worth it for that alone. Yeah. And the castle in the middle, but the grounds were fantastic, especially for the dog to explore all the way around. It's really cool. Number three, another one of my f absolute favourites. And this one is a bit more of a walk from the campsite, but we stayed at the Caravan and Home Club site <laughs> in Edinburgh. And of course, it's Edinburgh Castle. Edinburgh Castle is absolutely amazing. If you've not been, highly recommend it. It is walkable from the campsite. Uh, it's quite a long walk, or you can get a bus, <laughs> or you can cycle, there's a cycle route in as well. But it's a really, really cool castle. Definitely worth recommending visit, and we'll pop a link up so you can see it. There's a bit of a theme with these, isn't there? <laughs> so number four, um, actually moving into England now for a change, um, is Beeston Castle. Now, this is not a million miles away from home for us. Um, it's one we like to go to regularly, um, and there is some campsites nearby. It's really good, this one. It's English heritage, um, and you can take dogs in because it's ruins of castle, but amazing views across Cheshire, um, and you can take dogs all the way uh, up to the castle. Yeah, it's a really good point, actually. The first three we mentioned, you can't take dogs inside, um, but this one you can take dogs inside because it's a ruin, and obviously it's really good to explore. And number five, the last one for us, well, we actually have a little bit of footage to show you because we filmed this in situ, so we'll let Caroline explain where we are for number five. So this is Historic Chirk Castle, um, one of the best National Trust castles that, uh, that we find. It's really great to visit. Um, you can go inside and there's some formal gardens. Uh, unfortunately, you can't take dogs in either of those, um, but there is plenty to explore on the outside, even with your dog. Where is it? It is in Chirk in North Wales. So here is Chirk Castle and um, you can see just beyond that hedge is the formal gardens. Um, there's all this parkland that you can walk in without being a member if you want to go inside to the actual castle or the formal gardens you do need to be a National Trust member or pay to get in. Um, wherever the car park is, all the cars are coming in that way, um, there is a shop and like a, a for snacks and like an ice cream thing so you can get a drink if you need to while you're here. So Chirk Castle was one of our favourites. We've been there loads of times. There's a campsite, really walkable. It's next door to it, Lady Margaret. It's a highly recommended, really nice campsite and a really great place to explore. Dogs not allowed inside, but they are allowed around the grounds, uh, which is, again, a really good place to let them run around and explore too. So we hope you enjoyed this collaboration video, our top five castles. We, we love visiting all these places. We'd happily visit them again, wouldn't we? We would, yeah, really good. It's just, and you can go multiple times because there's generally something new uh, to see. 
each time you go. Yeah, with or without a dog, then you can mix it up, go inside, don't go yeah, inside. Yeah, yeah, so hopefully that's given you some inspiration. Um, do watch through the channels um, in the collaboration to see where, where they go and where they like. Um, obviously, personal preference, but it's always good to get some great ideas uh, about what else is out there and other, other places to visit. Cool. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next video. Bye.